Hello everyone. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about uh, exception related instructions, right? Exception means interrupt, interrupt related, related instructions. Uh, we have referred to the textbook called Definitive A2 on Cortex M3 and Cortex M4 processors and referring to chapter 5. In this chapter 5, we are focusing much on 5.6.11 in this presentation, which is exception related instructions, which is in the page number 165. So here the supervisor call instruction is used to generate a supervisory call exception, which is exception type 11 in the architecture in the vector table. We have studied that. Typically, the supervisory call is used with an embedded operating system or real-time operating system where an application task running in an unprivileged execution state can request services from the operating system which runs in the privileged execution state. So the supervisory call exception mechanism provides the transition from unprivileged to privileged. In addition, the supervisory call mechanism is useful as a gateway for application tasks to access various services, including OS services or the other API functions, because an application task can request a service without knowing the actual program and the address of the service. It only needs to know the supervisor equal service number, input parameters, and the return results. So the supervisor equal instruction requires that the priority of the SVC exception be higher than the certain priority level. And that the exception is not masked by the masking registers like primary mask. Otherwise, call exception would be created, would be triggered instead. As a result, we cannot use the SVC in a unmaskable input handler or hard fault handler because the priority levels of these handlers are always higher than that of the SVC exception. SVC instruction has the following syntax supervisory call with the immediate constant, which is nothing but the priority level value. The immediate value is 8 bit. So the value itself does not affect the behavior of the supervisory call exception, but the supervisory call handler can extract this value in a software and use it as an input parameter. For example, determine what service is requested by the application task. So table 5.40 listed the various forms of the CPS instruction available for the Cortex M3 and Cortex M4 processors. The switching of the primary masks or fault mask to disable or enable the interrupt is commonly used to ensure timing critical growth and find this quickly without getting interrupted. CPS IE means enabling interrupt. So interrupt enable is IE. ID is interrupt disable. CPS is the instructions are used for modifying the special registers. Okay. So interrupt enable I. Okay. Which is primary mask. Interrupt enable F means fault mask. Interrupt enable primary mask. Interrupt disable primary mask. Interrupt enable fast fault mask. Interrupt disable fault mask. It is very clearly understood from the table 5.40. Thank you very much.